to myself What a wonderful world Four fifteen in the morning. Only Disneyland Resort parking lot open right now. The Toy Story parking area. And why are we here? Because we're resistance ready today. On this early rainy morning here in Anaheim. Good morning everybody. Sorry if I'm a little bit red, but like I said, we are here at the Disneyland Resort for opening day of Rise of the Resistance, a brand new immersive attraction in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. It's open at Walt Disney World, and now it's time for us Disneyland fans to experience it here. Like I said, we're here at four in the morning. We've got the crowd behind me all waiting to get in to get that virtual boarding group pass and I'm gonna take you guys along for the experience and everything so let's go have some fun like I said it's four in the morning we got a big crowd they said they're opening the gates at seven and the boarding group system will be available at eight o'clock so we'll make sure to have our phones out let's go have some fun and ride rise of the resistance today here at Disneyland Resort open here on this early morning January 17th it's a Friday today and a wet one You look resistance ready. Yeah, we're right here. I am first order. Savannah's very tired. And she sides with her first order. <laughs> Not too bad of a crowd right now. That was gonna be a lot worse than this. Not too bad. Cast members are going around and handing instructions on how to secure a place in the boarding group. There's also instructions on how to download Disneyland app if you don't have it already. The gates have just opened. They're letting people in. Here we go. Still two hours so we can get a boarding group, but they're letting people in. We've made it in. Now I'll wait for the boarding groups to open. Very soon, though. Will be used for the all-new Star Wars Rise of the Resistance attraction. Beginning at eight o'clock this morning, guests may join the queue through the Disneyland app. Once again, the virtual queue for admission to Star Wars Rise of the Resistance will open at eight o'clock this morning. Thank you. Everybody is getting let into the main street area, or the main hub area. We'll see how far they let us go though. So they just have the hub open right now, but we're gonna kind of stay away from the crowd because there's no advantage to being over in the galaxy's edge first, because you have to have your boarding group to actually board the attraction. So right now we're just kind of roaming around the hub. We've got about, it's like 6.30 right now. Still looking dark out here. So when it is 8 o'clock, I'll be screen recording my phone and then I'll put the screen um, on the actual, or I'll put the screen recording thing on this actual video so you guys can see the process of it all. We're gonna try it on two different phones, so we'll see which one gets it faster. And for those who want coffee, we're gonna have to wait in this long line because the Starbucks line goes all the way down there. This is where the Starbucks is at for those of you guys who Aren't you sure? Right in that building. The line stretches all the way down Main Street. Jeez, you think you can get a boarding group for that? That's at least, at least a 45 minute wait. Maybe even more. Wow. 20 minutes to go here, and then the boarding group system opens up very soon. They're getting everyone hyped up out there, because the security is. Definitely filling up a lot more though. Here in the hub. So we're sitting here waiting. It's 7.59, we're waiting to see, to join the boarding group. So we're trying to align Savannah's phone right now. Very refreshing. Yeah. Savannah's got her Apple Watch out tracking the seconds till 8 o'clock. I, I don't understand it. Like there. It's oh, it's that okay, okay. So it's about to be like two seconds, two seconds. 
Start to eat, start to eat. Join the boarding group. Continue. Uh, I think I got it, I got it, I got it. Group 20, we got 20. We got group 20. Wow. Yeah. Group 20, that's insane. Wow, I, I'm i so surprised on how early we got. That is insane. Wow. I'm excited. We're, we're literally gonna go in in like 30 minutes. So in Walt Disney World, they have 120 um, boarding groups, I think it is right now, or 150, something like that. But today, they're only doing 82. And if you get a boarding group past 82, it'll only be called if all of the initial planned boarding groups have been called back and there is capacity for more riders. So, what does Theme Park do is saying, you bastard, we got 50. Damn, we lucked out with 20. Wow. So as of 8.08 .08 in the morning, all of the boarding groups are gone. You will be joining the backup boarding group if you're trying to join now. But as of 8.08, .08, that's literally eight minutes, all of the boarding groups are gone. Now, as time goes on, there will be more boarding groups. Um, right now, today, since there's only 82 boarding groups, it's solely because of the reason, because it's opening day, you know, even though they did cast member previews, they want to make sure the ride's working and everything, and they don't know how much it's going to break it down. But eight minutes into the boarding group being into play and they are already all gone. That's the right outside of one of the entrances of Galaxy's Edge. They have the boarding group status of what groups are boarding. So the loading will begin shortly. We're gonna walk over to the entrance of the attraction and see if there's any um, signs there pointing to what boarding groups are boarding. See if there's any information on when they're gonna start boarding these groups at. It's on the app, it still says they're not boarding any quite yet, and on here as well. So we'll see what it says in the front of the attraction. So it's been about 40 minutes since we last picked up the vlog camera, and they're already boarding groups 12 through 17. And just to get a glimpse of how fast it's going, they're boarding group 12, and then literally 10 minutes later, they've gotten to 17. So we're gonna be riding literally in like a few minutes, we're gonna go up there. I'm so excited, we'll get to go in there. In a few minutes, like I said, they're on group 17 right now and we're group 20. We're going in to the queue. Here we go. We're inside. We're about to go board. Rise of the Resistance. The extremely anticipated attraction. Look at how cool it is with the waterfall right out there. We're going inside. Oh. This is so exciting. We're gonna go into the first pre show right now. Post on Batu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pokhara. I'll regroup with you there. The resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. Quality looks insane. Remember, it is vital that you keep the location of the Pokhara. Here we go. How to get on the ship? Initiate pre-flight sequence on deck three for Pokhara. Look, there's BB up there. <laughs> Oh, this is so exciting. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Here we go, the doors are about to open. Oh, yes. I am getting a high reading on the fuel pressure line. That's better. Check the binary motivator. Yes. I just want to be sure. <laughs> All recruits must be on board now. Transport is away in 30 seconds. That looks insane. Good. Look at another hyperdrive. Yes. Check the hyperdrive also. Transport takeoff in 20 seconds. There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. We got company. First order type fighters. Try to shake him, Blue! I'm trying, Blue! We lost Blue Five! I'm gonna try to draw him away! Copy 
that. Get us clear so we can make the jump. Be ready, you are my Oh my goodness, this is insane. This is actually insane. Jesus. This is insane how big this room is. Okay, well, literally everything looks so much bigger in person. Like, I, I'm guilty of watching spoilers. The immersion that you get being here in person tops anything that you can watch on YouTube or anything. It is insane. Leave us. Yes, General. Enemies of the First Order, we will soon snap out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side and now you will pay. The resistance prisoners. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. You can probably hear me screaming that the whole ride. Literally, like you, the best ride you cannot ride. capture this in video. And I know I just did it right now. But you, in order to get the full experience, you have to ride it. 
like this is and that drop is so much more fun than I so thought it was like it literally is just like a free fall drop I am so blown away and I am so happy right now and like it was well worth the wait it was worth the wait of this long awaited time of them building it and everything I can see why they took so long to build it and then the wait of us getting in after our boarding group so we got in about 9.15 and then we actually went into the pre-show like 30 minutes yeah we went into the pre-show but pre -show. the line wasn't that long to begin with oh yeah to get into the first pre-show with BB and Ray yeah, it was it wasn't that long of a wait right now if we're still doing the boarding groups. Um, it wasn't that long of a wait once you actually get inside. But I'm I'm mind blown. Like literally, truly, this is the best Disney attraction at this current moment. It is insane. We're gonna wake up tomorrow and do it again. <laughs> it is it is insane. Like you guys literally have to come out here and ride it for yourselves because, like I said, it cannot be the full effect and the full immersion cannot be captured on a YouTube video. You have to come out here and experience it yourself. During the beginning of the day, uh, Millennium Falcon was extremely packed, it was 55 minutes, but now it's down to 30 minutes. It seems like since people are riding rides and then they're getting their boarding groups and such, they're heading out and then coming back later, especially if you got a later boarding group, it'd be smart if you live in the area just to head out and then come back later when your boarding group is called or head back to your hotel. Okay, so now for the juicy stuff. So. We got here early today for the sole reason because it's opening day we need to like know when exactly the boarding group was starting and all that other stuff because in Walt Disney World when they did opening day they, it was kind of a mix up so we got here early we went here at 4.30 as you guys have seen and there's big crowds here but there are people waiting here as early as 2 in the morning and they didn't even get a guaranteed boarding group they got placed in a backup boarding group so I best suggestion to you is is get here early but not too early probably like 6 6 30 is the best time because everybody gets access to the boarding group at the same exact time so if you were to get here at 6 45 or even like 7 30 and you're in the park as opposed to someone who got here like at four in the morning yeah, you could no get yeah now. you could get a better boarding group than that person so it all matters with your phone it like, does it matters on how fast your phone is it matters on where you're at located like i was doing speed tests throughout the morning to find out where the best place was at and you just have to do that you know it, it's all about your phone and how fast your phone responds to the servers and all that other stuff it's not about how early you get here wouldn't say we made a mistake getting here early like i said because it was opening, it was opening day. day so we didn't want it to be confused or like them like start boarding groups early or anything like that and us not get one so it was good to be here early on opening day however there are a lot of people that are complaining that they got here like at two in the morning and they didn't get a boarding group which to be fair i i agree with them they should have gotten a boarding group however getting here early does not matter when getting a boarding group for rise of the resistance quick spin on the teacups whoa i haven't eaten at all so this isn't very good this morning i ate a couple of pretzels and a mcmuffin why are you talking like that there's no need to <laughs> we are spinning it looks like we're spinning so fast but we're spinning so slow well as for today that does it for us here at the disneyland resort like i said we'll be back tomorrow doing it again so follow up on our socials at socal exploring media on instagram and at socal exploring on twitter if you want to see updates on how it is tomorrow on the first weekend of rise of the resistance we're going to do a more strategical approach tomorrow and come around like 6 30 ish like i said that's probably the best time to come and i'll also be filming a lunar new year vlog tomorrow from over at dca and the brand new monthly Minnie mouse the main attraction merchandise overview because that debuts tomorrow as well so subscribe because lots of content is coming with those bell notifications on i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys enjoyed coming along with this experience with us of rise of the resistance opening day i hope you all have a great rest of your day and a great or good luck to riding rise of the resistance when the sporting group system is still in play my name is Scott, that's Savannah, she's in here, and she's in there getting her Starbucks, positivity is key, and most importantly, remember to hit exploring, peace.